What an incredible week for Delkan Battle. The worldwide units have been confirmed to be LR Vegito Blue and LR Zamasu. For many people, 2023 wasn't exactly a good year for Dokkan Battle. And this is because they felt like the units and the events that were released this year weren't exactly up to standard. These recent reveals though have changed everything and has even given hope to these sorts of players. Today's video is to compare the progress from last year to this year and see if Dokkan Battle might actually go in a positive direction. That is for the remainder of 2023. We're going to be using the Japanese version as the timeline here. So January of 2022 had the 7th anniversary featuring the LR Gods and LR Super Saiyan Force. And this was mainly a positive celebration. I think part 2 was slightly negatively received because of the lack of hype I suppose. Even though in my opinion I think it was a good addition. I'm of course referring to the LR Saiyan Saga versions of Goku and Vegeta. Overall, 2022 started off well with the 7th anniversary. And of course, I'm not even mentioning the really good EZAs that we got, such as the Super Saiyan 4s and of course Tech God Goku and Strength God Vegeta. Now let's compare the 7th anniversary to the 8th anniversary. We were told that the 8th anniversary was going to have units that weren't really in previous anniversaries beforehand. This of course turned out to be a sort of lie because we got two Goku and Vegeta cards as we kind of expected from before the announcement. Now of course the cards are actually pretty good and the OSTs are nice and everything so yeah well, they're, they're, they're alright but unfortunately we did expect something a little bit more unique. Unfortunately part 2 released in February did not do much to alleviate those fears and satisfy any of the player base really. In fact, part 2 they released some of the most confusing LRs to date, which was a Goku and Gohan card. I don't know why they did this, I genuinely don't. Not only did they fumble the EZA for physical Super Vegito, they also managed to fumble the part 2 units. Furthermore, the free to play LR Barbody featured a standby mode that was kind of wasted, which was Majin Vegeta from the tournament. Brilliant animations, a brilliant scene wasted really and while of course the EZAs for the two Gokus the Super Saiyan and the Blue Kaioken Goku were pretty good unfortunately that wasn't enough the headline units were scuffed they did manage to sort of save the anniversary with the EZAs of the fifth year LRs Vegito and Gogeta but it was still an anniversary that could have been so much more last year we had units like AGL Ginyu Int Majin Vegeta and even unexpected units like Int Yamcha and LR Hachiak the units for 2023, however, those releases were kind of underwhelming to say the least. You know, you've got units like Strength Super 17, whose banner felt more like filler, if you will. In 2022, we even got the release of the God Raditz for April Fools. But this year, we didn't even get an April Fools unit. We just got Kale, who kind of... Well, let's just say some people argued that she outshone the previous banner, Super Saiyan God Goku. And it was a very, yeah, you, you can't really describe it. It's just strange. The decisions that the dev team have been making are questionable at best. I mean, you've got releases like those. You've got, you know, the Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration, which could have been so much more last year, but was slightly underwhelming, even though it was kind of cool to see the limit breakers and hearts in the game. I mean, on global, for instance, there's no active skill for hearts, which is pretty funny, but all things considered, I mean, my point simply is that the dev team can do a lot better, and I think that this worldwide celebration with Vegito and Zamasu as part one can sort of be the gateway to a better future for Dokkan, and a better year, I should say, the better rest of 2023. Now it all comes down to their kit, what they do and what they look like, as well as part two of the worldwide celebration, who those units might be. It'll be quite interesting to see if Dokkan Battle can survive until its 9th or even 10th anniversary, by which time, I don't know what they're gonna do for unit ideas, they're gonna have to pull more Dokkan original stuff because it's getting to the point where they're running out of stuff to do. Dokkan original stuff is probably the best way to go, so I'm happy they're leaning into it. It shows that they're somewhat listening to the community. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and have a good one.